there! I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm here with kind of a different video for you. One of my big interests is homes and home decorating. I love watching HGTV and over the past like three to five months my house has been like HGTV on a really 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 bad day. It is so crazy that they show you on HG at the first of the 30 minute show they show you this wreck of a house and then after just 30 minutes they open the door on this gorgeous gorgeous designer home. Well, I don't know that I really thought that would happen, but it was crazy how long it took to update my master bathroom. And basically what I did, my house is 15 years old. We've lived in it 13 years, so most of the life of the home we have lived here. And we moved in during the old world era. And so we have lots of golden tile, brown tile, that kind of thing. And my master bath was really kind of bothering me because I did not like the color of the tiles. And so basically I did a little bathroom facelift to move it from old world into more transitional. And I kept a lot of things, which I'll be explaining in the video, and I will share all of the details, the dirty details with you every step of the way. But before we get into that, I did want to show you the outfit I am wearing today from Amazon. Super comfy shirt, absolutely love this. It's a turtleneck with a great kind of cowlish neck, but it's a tighter cow, which I really like. I have had similar sweaters from Amazon. I have a ton of them in my closet. They wash up just beautifully. Just wash them with any other clothes and then hang them dry and they look great. Also, I have my jewelry listed below in addition to all the clothing. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you will consider joining the 50 Plus Beauty family by hitting that subscribe bell. And when you click that bell, that means you'll be notified of all my future videos. Okay, let's get into this. And mostly I'll let the pictures do the talking. Here we are, and thank goodness the master bathroom is done. I will tell you one thing which is interesting, which has to do with COVID, is that we contacted the bathroom remodeler maybe six months ago when we got all the plans drawn up, and then the tile we wanted, we, the big tiles that you'll see on the bathroom floor, there were big square tiles, they had to bring them in from Italy because due to slow shipping and all that and no shipping, they didn't have any stock of that particular tile here in this country. So we started this project six or seven months ago and we had to wait three months to get the tile in. So that was crazy. And we have basically been working on this master bath for the last two and a half to three months. Oh, it's been quite the dusty, horrible project. We have not been able to sleep in our master bedroom for a couple of weeks of that. And then we could kind of sleep in the master bedroom, but we couldn't use the master bath. And so we we're running over to this little tiny bath that's a little guest bath. And we were in there for several months and oh my, you know, life is good. These are definitely first world problems. So I'm really grateful to have a new bathroom. So anyway, if you comment in the video, if you like the bathroom, don't like the bathroom, if you've gone through a similar type of project and what your experience was, that would be great. Okay, let's go back to just before the project started. Okay, this is the master bedroom. There it is. I had the ceiling kind of fode a few years ago. It's mostly in grays and beiges. And there's Alan's little chair where he puts his shoes on and he got a bunch of jeans from the Amazon Prime sale, which was good. There's my side of the bed. Okay, here is the master bath and it is going to be remodeled in a couple of weeks. And basically, I'm going to keep it almost exactly the same. I like the trim. I like the cabinets, I like the columns. I just don't like the golden old world tile. It's not too gold, but it is a little bit gold and that really bothers me. I would really like to have more of an off-white, kind of a creamy beigey tile, which is what I'm getting. There are the two vanities here. There's the shower, we'll keep the shower. A mirror and glass company is going to come before we tile the bathroom and take out the shower and then reinsert it. And I usually have even more of a mess in the shower than is here right now. I am going to have a long insert there to keep all my shampoos and that kind of thing. Normally, I have tons of bottles of things all around there, but I've been kind of cleaning things up in preparation for getting the remodeling done. Here is my husband's vanity, and I'm going to be keeping the lighting in here. I like the black lighting. I like that light, that bar light. I like the mirror, got that at Lowe's, really do like it. I'm actually keeping these faucets on both of these vanities. However, I'm going to be getting a slightly different version of them, which is spot free, because this has been driving me crazy. I don't know if you can see it, but there are spots all over it pretty much all the time. 
unless I totally keep after it. There is actually the backsplash we're going to be using on both of these vanities. And the vanity tops will be a black granite, just a shiny black granite. And uh, all of the other tile will become more beigey. Here's a look at my closet, which I did just clean today in preparation for this. I've got a couple bags to give to a good friend of mine of castaway clothes. I'm, I'm still a little bit of a mess in here, but, but not too bad. So anyway, that is a look at my bathroom in the before state. There is a look at the little potty room. And again, I'm keeping all the art. I'm just basically replacing out the tile and the countertops. But I just want to make the tile a little more updated, a little less old world. Okay, this is work day two, the beginning of work day three, I guess. There is the bathroom. And this was the little stool, the little bench in the shower, which is total cement. I had no idea it's moldy. And in one day, and they did a beautiful job. I mean, everything is so neat and tidy, but in one day's worth of work, and it was very loud, they had some machine in here that was hammering out the tile. In one day of work, they removed the tile from the shower. I mean, I had no idea it took so long to accomplish this, but look, at, look how neat and tidy his work was. But again, there are the granite slabs for the countertops that they did the very first day. Actually, the granite people did that, but look at this dust. Hi, 50 plus beauty folks. You are a sweetheart. F, P, B. Thank you for watching my channel. Okay, this is the end of day three and all of the tile is out. It was very loud today as they were jackhammering that tile out of there. It's a huge, huge job to get that out, very heavy job. And there is the tile, and I'm so excited because it is so neutral. There is not a shred of brown or gold in that tile, but it is beigey, and that will enable me just to change the wall color in the future when the trends change. And this was interesting. Look at all the dust, all the dust on everything. It's really all over the house, it's terrible. This is my cabinet, and it was closed the whole time they were working there, and look at all this. I would advise you, if you have stuff in cabinets, to go ahead and cover it up before the job begins because this is a dusty mess. I'm basically going to have to take everything out of there and dust it off. Look at that, oh my. I wish they would tell you a little more about this process because I did not realize that. I would have just put like pillowcases over everything. So there's that. And again, there's the tile. That is so exciting to me. And <laughs> this is the tub filled with everything. Lots of tile here. And I don't know what this is. This is a waterproof sloped shower tray. Oh, that's the shower tray that will go under the tile in the shower. The shower looks the same way it did a couple days ago. But look at all this stuff. Oh my, it's crazy. You know, they charge a lot of money to do this. I, I'm not sure, I think this bathroom was maybe $23,000 altogether, but you can see why when, when they start working and it takes them two weeks of intense labor and all this. Look at this. Oh, that was from yesterday. <laughs> There we go. Hello, everyone. This is such a dusty mess in here. It's, I was gonna say unbelievable, but I guess it's quite believable. I mean, they're jackhammering tile and cement and everything out of your house. So anyway, there we are, the end of day three. This is the end of, I think, the fourth day. It's hard to tell. They started a week ago last Thursday, and this is Sunday. So they obviously didn't work yesterday, so they worked Friday, but they did start tiling the bottom of the shower. And to me, it almost looks like the tile is a little bit more yellow, but I know once it's grouted, it will all work. Okay, it is now two weeks and one, two, three, four days since they started. And the floor is almost all done. Of course, it's not grouted yet. I think he has tile in there. Most of the way, goes most of the way back. You can't really see that. And then basically the shower, I didn't realize this, Alan pointed this out. He got the border done on the shower. The shower is a lot taller, so I'm excited about that. The niche still has yet to be completed. It'll be really fun though, because I had a lot of mess in there before. Okay, this is two weeks and six days from the start of the project. And Alan and I are actually going out of town tomorrow, which is Thursday, and we'll be back Sunday. And apparently it's going to be finished when we get back, which will be very exciting. The tub deck is, I'd say 90% finished. 
The shower, of course, is almost finished. Okay, for the last four days, I have been out of the house. I have been out with Alan in Arizona, and I came home and all the tile was done, which I'm so excited about. There's the floor. It's done. The little back splashes are done. And they're this cute little mosaic here. And the plumber still needs to come in and put in the tub and all of the fixtures. There's no, no plumbing in here. And the shower is all done. And I think that looks really good. We're reusing the same lighting so that it's still there. And the same mosaic that we used on the back splashes we used in these little niches, which I'm excited about the niches because I have a lot of stuff that I use in the shower. So that is really great. So anyway, that is where we are today. No potty in there, obviously. That is the bathroom at this point. Okay, this is the same evening of the last little video that I did. And I put more decor in here just because the decorator is coming tomorrow and I want Myra to be able to kind of see what the decor is like. She's also going to help me figure out the shower door. I decided not to use the old one, but to get a new one, which has more glass. And we've got a light out there. But anyway, I'm so happy the tub is in. There's still caulking to do, and obviously the wall color. Hey, this is about three and a half weeks into the project, and obviously the tile people left a few days back, and we are just kind of getting ready for the painters to come, and they will be coming this Wednesday. And basically, for some reason, the room looks really dark today. I don't know why. I'm going to be having the painters paint the walls. And then also, we're not going to repaint the vanity, either the vanities or the columns or the big window. But we are going to have the painters repaint the trim. And that's why I'm missing a drawer here, because I had to have the color matched. Because unfortunately, I used oil-based paint maybe five years ago when I did these vanities. Well, when I did all the trim in most of the house. And oil-based paint does yellow. So to get a good color match, we did have to go and have the, have the door matched. And so basically what I'll be doing is having all of the trim paint, the floor trim paint, all around the room repainted. In addition to having the doors, these three doors resprayed. That closet door, the little toilet door, and my husband's closet door. That is where we are in terms of the trim paint, and that will start Wednesday. Then we're also having a wall color installed. I don't know if install is the right word, but I went through several different, several different ideas, and Myra originally had said use worldly gray. That's what color she thought. There's worldly gray, that higher color there. And at first I decided to not do worldly gray. I was a little bit afraid. It's also down over there. But then yesterday I showed Alan all of my color choices and he said, yes, let's do worldly gray. So we're going to do that. And one other thing that is coming is that we decided not to reuse the old shower doors as we had originally thought we would because they wouldn't be very tall. So we're having new shower doors installed and they have to be ordered. All the pieces have to be ordered. Oh, I'll show you one more thing. I did order some black bottles for the niches because I used to have a huge mess in here and I've also ordered some white labels from Etsy. So that should be looking better soon. Here's a look into the finished master bedroom and master bath. This is a look at my living room real quick. We have fall decor going on now. If you'd like to see more of my fall decor, let me know because I'd be glad to make a video for you. I love decorating for all of the seasons. <laughs> That's something I've done since I've kind of become a grandma type age. I always thought grandmas did that because my mother never did that, but my grandmother did it and now I do it too. So anyway, here's the little hallway into the master bedroom and here is the master bedroom and I didn't really make many changes at all. The bedding has changed. The other bedding was actually more expensive. It was Pottery Barn, but I noticed that the rug was a little peaked and so I changed out the rug and when I changed out the old, dirty kind of white rug, it was kind of an off-white, then I realized that those kind of florally, country-looking gray and white pillow shams that I had and quilt did not really go with the more modern look of this rug. And this is a very popular rug. In fact, my mother-in-law owns it too. And I'll try to find a link below for you if you're interested in that. It's a great shag rug, and I think it wears very well. I just got this one, but my mother-in-law has had hers in her living room for about three years. It looks wonderful. 
but everything else stayed the same. I did replace out the bed linens, and this is from one set, and I will link it below for you. Really, really like it. Got it on Amazon. And instead of using the quilt here, and this is the quilt that most people would use, or the comforter most people would use on the bed, I always like the look of a bed that is heavy at the top and heavy at the bottom with a coverlet in the middle. And I chose this cream colored coverlet from Amazon in kind of the little rectangles because all of the pillows have that squared off rectangular look. And I think the two go very well together. There's my husband's exercise mat. He does his sit-ups in the morning there. There's his little sit-up, little sit-up roller there. And this chair I actually had in another room and I had it recovered because it was a really good quality chair, but we no longer needed the chair anymore. And then this pillow, I bought the pillow case off of Amazon and it comes in a lot of different sayings and it comes in a lot of different colors, including a light gray and a dark gray and a myriad of other colors. I got snuggle, but they have dream and love and enjoy all kinds of things. And I, I actually ordered the pillow insert several times to find one that so perfectly fits that because look how well that fits, absolutely beautiful. Okay, now enough of the bedroom. Now we're into the big event, which is the master and yay, it is finally completed. I am so happy. And as you can see, the tile is new, which is wonderful. And some of the trim has been repainted. The cabinets were not repainted, but everything else pretty much was in terms of all the trim by the tile and all the doors were resprayed, and the trim around the doors were resprayed. The wall color is called, what is it called? It is called Worldly Gray, and I love this wall color. I think it's beautiful. It's Sherwin Williams, and I'll link it below for you. And there is my vanity, and all we did, we kept the vanity bottoms, and basically this is a fairly low cost remodel in this bathroom because we kept the columns, we kept the blinds, we kept all the lighting, we kept the mirrors, we kept the cabinetry, the vanities, that kind of thing. All we really did was repaint along the baseboards and all, and then we replaced the countertops with this black, absolute black, it's called granite, which I really, really like. Even these little accessories we had before. We also had all of the faucets all over the bathroom from before. A couple of years ago, we tried to modernize the old world somewhat, and as you can see, there's the tub version of that same faucet. Got a little candle there. There's my makeup fridge. And I just got these towels in, these decorative towels in yesterday, and I think they're just beautiful. And I will link those below for you. I've had the picture. Just some candles there. And there's my husband's, which is exactly like my vanity, but a little bit smaller. And then this is the shower. And I love this shower. And it took so long because we didn't realize we were going to replace the shower door until after we pretty much got the bathroom finished. Most of the bathroom was complete at the one month mark, which it was a hard month to get through, but it was completed. And then I realized I wanted different shower doors. So I ordered taller shower doors and they took a whole month to come in because they came in and they were broken, I think, and they had to send them back again. But anyway, there's one of those decorative towels. I love the texture on that. There's the decorative hand towel. And here is inside the shower, big thick glass doors. I've got black along the top, a black rail along the top, but all the hardware here is black, including this nice large pull here. And it does help bring in the black of the cabinetry and the mirrors. And I won't go into too much detail about the shower because, well, I'll show you this and I'm so happy with how this turned out. You see, everything is all organized. And in the past, we had shampoo bottles of all types. We had conditioners of all types. We had razors here and there. It was a mess. And now everything is totally in its place. And I won't tell you all the details about what's here, but suffice it to say that this shower has become almost a home spa for me. And it is very easy to quickly get ready in the morning and really do all of the steps of my beauty routine. And if you'd like to learn more about how this bathroom is kind of an automatic beauty spa, you know, a two minute beauty treatment, something like that, let me know because I can make another video. Okay, that was the master bath experience. And let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see more of these types of videos because I have two more possible videos I could do for you. And let me know which one or if you'd like both of them, let me know that. But the first video would be on the upgrade, the remodeling of my utility room 
and powder bathroom. We are almost totally finished with that, and in a few days we will be. Be glad to share that with you in a video. And the second video I could show you is a complete upgrade on the front of our house, which was old gold stone. And we actually painted the stone with a lime wash, is what it's called. You can actually use lime wash over stone, and it turned out really pretty well, I think. And again, let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to post either one or both of those videos. And I hope you'll stick around the channel because the holidays are coming. And this is a look at my last holiday home.